Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. So here is the pride of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Twice he has challenged for UFC gold. Prevailing wisdom is if he can win this fight here tonight, he'll be back on that short list of contenders. You look at Stephen Thompson and you almost feel like you'll see him at a church choir more than uh -huh. you'll see him in the octagon. He looks so innocent. But when you're in there, you are in there with an absolute killer. Stephen Thompson has the ability to slide out of range as you enter and counter you really, really quick. He counters like a viper. He's so fast with his counter attacks. That right hand is unbelievable, and he fights in that traditional karate stance, which makes it difficult to try and piece the puzzle together when you're in front of the Wonderboy. And of course, the last man to beat Robert Whitaker. I submit to you, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, back at UFC 170, one of the bigger knockouts of his career in 2014. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Thompson is eight years his senior. He is one inch taller. The reach is identical. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Brasilia, Distrito Federal, Brazil! Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Right hand upstairs. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Big combination. Oh, nice job avoiding the damage from that elbow. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. That one snuck in. Nice play. The combinations are flowing. Powerful leg kick land. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Punch over the top. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for one of the best to ever do it, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Leg kick checked by Wonderboy Thompson. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. He went high on that one. Oh, straight right. He hurt him. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Stephen Wonderboy. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also, most times, walk.